Making your first thousand dollars on YouTube as a creator isn't as hard as you think it may be. The hardest part is just having a reason for people to pay you. So in this video, I'm going to go over seven different ways that you can start stacking cash up as a creator. And while it may seem out of reach, if you follow this video, you'll be making money in no time. Now you may be like, wait, you have 100 subscribers and two videos. What the hell do you know about making money on YouTube? Well, over the past two years, I've grown my business's YouTube channel to over 20,000 subscribers. And through that business and helping other creators, I've helped generate over $600,000 in sales. So let's start listing these off in the usual orders that most creators pursue making money. But before we get into those, I need to say your content needs to have a purpose and help solve somebody's pain point. If you're just making entertainment content, the audience probably won't care to buy because they just to be entertained by you. With that being said though, let's get to our seven tips. Number one, ad revenue. I think every creator starts off dreaming about ad revenue, but there's a few reasons why this shouldn't be your number one priority. You have to wait until a specific amount of subscribers or watch time. And then congrats, it's probably gonna be like 20 bucks a month. And remember, it probably took you months to get there in the first place. Now, yes, ad revenue is definitely a great bonus, but you can make way more money before you reach those requirements and you don't even need a ton of views. So these next six tips are gonna show you exactly how you can start making money without waiting for ad revenue. Number two, affiliate marketing. Now, I'm not talking about the content of like, this app makes you $200 a day. I hate that shit. What I'm telling you to do is make videos about the products that you use within your daily life that relate to your niche. And the best part is that you don't need a loyal audience to make money from this. For example, I've been binging new PC videos on YouTube and all of these videos are filled with affiliate links for computer parts. And really, depending on what you do, this can vary drastically, but just know that it can stack up fast. If you're a person who does videography and you can get a 20% cut of a $1,000 camera, that's $200. Or if you're an affiliate of a monthly recurring program where you get $10 per month per user, if you get 200 users to sign up, you'll be passively making $2,000 per month. So take a quick look at all of the tools that you use within your niche and whatever you do exactly and then just Google the name of the tool plus affiliate program. And mostly everybody online has an affiliate marketing program these days, so odds are you'll find a way to make some money. Number three is sponsorships. Let me tell you guys, this is where the true sauce is that I think most creators are completely missing out on. So this kind of relates back to affiliate marketing because if a company sees you bringing in a bunch of signups, you can probably reach out to them or they might reach out to you for further details. Or if you reach out to a a company and you can show, hey, I've made one, three, five videos showing off your product with high quality content, that's gonna be a very good way to get your foot in the door and start working towards a partnership. But here is the sauce that many creators miss out on. Remember, these companies want to reach your audience. So the more you build up your audience, the better the sponsorship deals will be. And here's the best way to build up your audience that most creators ignore. Build up an email list. You'll want to do this by offering a free item or what's known as a lead magnet to get on your email list. And I'll talk more about this in the next way to monetize. Number four is digital products. If you're making content about something that revolves around a problem, Odds are you've already solved it or have at least gotten further than somebody who is viewing the content. Because somebody who has mastered a skill doesn't really watch teaching YouTube videos about it. So what you can do is you can make digital products around some of your solutions to help a viewer who is less knowledgeable than you. For example, as a creator, you can sell your own monthly content calendar and how you plan content. Or as a trainer, you could sell a workout split. These are good, but really, I think these are actually better to use as lead magnets. Remember, a lead magnet is the free item that you give away to get people to join your email list. And that email list is how you're gonna make more money with sponsorships when you have it built up in the first place. And here's the thing, unlike ad revenue, you can sell digital products at any time and you can start collecting emails from any time. For example, in my first two videos, I've already collected over 100 emails. Number five is courses. So I think in 2023, depending depending on how big your niche is with creators, courses actually may be a bad idea and I myself never really plan on making a YouTube growth course either. Number one, there's a ton of courses already out there. And number two, with all the free content out there, it's not like there's some big bad secret that you don't know. You can spend five hours watching videos about how to grow on YouTube and you'll pretty have most of it already covered. 
But Ryan, aren't courses a good money maker? Yeah, it's true because most courses usually sell from 197 to even 997 plus. So really, I'd say if your niche doesn't have that many courses or competitors, then go ahead and make one and you might be able to see some success. Trust me, waking up to see $1,000 from just selling a course is a great feeling. But you may be wondering, if courses aren't the best way, then what is? Well, I'm glad you asked. Number six, coaching calls or consults. If your content is showing you as somebody who is knowledgeable about a subject, people are gonna wanna pick your brain on their specific problems. And here's why I like this better than just a course. Let's say somebody watches all this free content on YouTube and they find you and they just enjoy you more and they see you as kind of the best expert. What they're gonna do then is they're gonna pay you because they want your specific advice about their situation and that's worth a lot of value. Because a course could just be some general information, while a consult call, this person could tell you all their specific problems and roadblocks and get to see what you would do. After all, you are the expert, right? Now, yes, the only downside to this is that this is a direct trade-off for your time. And I'm assuming that you probably don't want your calendar to look like this booked with meetings every day. But here's the thing, if you ever get to that point of being so busy, just raise the price to a higher price. Odds are you're gonna be doing less and making even more. By the way, you can book me for a consult call down below. Now, other than just being paid, here is the best part about doing consults because this right here is a true money multiplier. You'll be learning more and more and talking directly to the creators who are paying you money. You can understand just exactly who your viewer is, look for some commonalities as to where they are in their journey, and why they actually paid for advice. You wanna look for some similarities of the people who are giving me money, where are they at in their journey, and I'll make more content trying to target those people because those are the people who are now willing to pay and want to actually get help. And then number seven is communities. This is what I would say is probably the most valuable for a creator to have, but they always struggle to build good ones. And I think it's because the immediate thought that people have is community equals cash. And it can be, but you have to do a lot of work first to grow it. Here's what usually happens. Most creators start a community and it's just them and like four other people. Honestly, most people are simply there as just a way to access you as the expert and they just wanna to talk to you and kinda of get some free advice. So really, it's your job just to keep people chatting and engaged until more knowledgeable people join. At which then, you're not the only person giving value, but now there's four, five, six other experienced members in your group. And then it just kinda of grows and grows from there but it doesn't get there without you doing most of the heavy lifting in the beginning. And speaking of which, if you wanna join my free community that includes free courses, I'll leave it linked below. But of course, before you get too far with monetizing your audience, you'll need to at least get some views. And we all know that it's hard to get any views without great thumbnails. So check out this video here where I discovered the simple patterns that every viral thumbnail follows. Peace out.